Hello and welcome to the Energy Connect Studio at India Energy Week 2025. I'm delighted to catch up with Saravan Penuvarti, the Chief Technology Officer of AIQ, for a quick conversation. Saravan, it's such a pleasure to have you back in the Energy Connect Studio. Pleasure to see you again, Jaranjim. Thank you. And what brings you to India? I think naturally India being the growth story of the world and obviously the receptiveness to AI and the focus on energy transition. India is a very strategic importance for ADNOC and AIQ. So obviously we are here to share our positive results of leveraging AI across the energy transition value chain and also want to share our best practices with our customers and partners here in the region. And uh, the last time we met was at Adipec where you elaborated on the role of agentic AI and how it's uh, driving innovation. What's happened since then? Ah, uh, that's a famous question that everyone asks us who are hearing me right now in India Energy Week. Um, I'm very happy to share the results of the POC trial of Energy AI that we have rolled out last year. The first 90 days of results are extremely important and very satisfying. We have seen an improvement across the seismic interpretation and reservoir modeling by 70% in terms of energy value transition and efficiency. And this has given us the confidence to enter into the next phase of energy AI, which is to scale up the entire energy AI value chain agents in the H1 2025 to the next level. So what we are trying to do, as we discussed in IDPEC last year, at every energy value chain, we will have a specific agent that improves the accuracy and efficiency and also the focus on sustainability. And we have started with the upstream use cases over there and we are already seeing the results. Now, uh, one of the areas in which uh, obviously AIQ is a pioneer is energy transformation, which is like the central uh, narrative of, of both ADNOC and AIQ. Uh, could you give us some recent examples and you know what's also in the pipeline about uh, in that journey? I think uh, if you have seen um, Chiranjeev, we are very focused on the use cases that brings value to start with. We don't want to do AI for the sake of doing AI. So what we have done and what we are doing going forward is we have optimized our product line into three specific categories. The focus on agentic AI, with the success of Energy AI, we want to con conclude and consider that product line. And then we also want to have a focus on our automation, which is giving us huge success across upstream and downstream, whether it is RoboWell, our autonomous well control system, whether it is AR360, our advanced reservoir modeling solution. And we also want to focus on digitalization as well, where for the first time we want to introduce a concept of AI-like digitalization. So which means that rather than looking at digitalization from the traditional view of infrastructure, we want to look at digitalization from the view of AI lens to bring value much earlier. Now with all that coming together, uh, how do you see AI as well as AIQ uh, contributing to do both decarbonization and efficiency? Uh, as you already know, Chiranjeev, I think our focus is specifically across four different areas. Production optimization, safety, efficiency, but not compromising on sustainability. So we have been always focusing on that. Our product line of Emission X particularly focuses on that particular task across our group of operations. And we are very happy to announce that we are in conversations with our new customers and partners to take it to the next level. Absolutely, and looking forward to what's next within that journey. And a lot of pipeline of products are coming up. Very excited and we'll share you at the appropriate time. Thank you. Looking forward to it, Saravan. Thank you so much for being in the studio. The pleasure is mine. Thank you so much, Anand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching and you can get more discussions like this at energyconnects.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media and I'll be back with you soon.